A montage of photographs depicting students and teachers. A graphic of the Perkins logo and the words, Teachable Moments. A title, The Importance of Arrows in Science with Kate Fraser. Hello, I'm Kate Fraser, a science teacher at the Perkins School for the Blind. Today we're going to talk about the importance of arrows in science. Kate sits at a table and describes several textbook illustrations that contain arrows, as well as an iPad displaying a chemical formula. We see arrows everywhere. We see them on a one-way street. We see them indicating us to turn left. We see them in textbooks indicating direction. We see them in the chemical formulas for a yield sign. However, if you're visually impaired, you may have never seen an arrow. So we find it very important to directly teach about arrows. Kate picks up several cardboard arrows and describes the features. Including the structure of the arrow. We talk about the arrow having a shaft and a point. You'll notice that the arrow has three points, so we need to directly teach that this is the point that's indicating the direction where the, where the motion or the activity is happening, the direction in which the chemical reaction is moving from reactant to product. In this textbook, they have a number of arrows. In this particular textbook, there's a graph that also has arrows indicating information about this particular graph. When we directly teach about arrows, we also may use different sized arrows to indicate different sizes of forces and different lengths of arrows to indicate different lengths that the movement may be traveling, often corresponding to what is happening in a particular diagram. In this diagram, it, it's indicating the steps in a process, and there are both long and short arrows. In this particular picture, this one indicates a pull and shows the person in the picture pulling with a rake, and we would demonstrate to the student the direction of the movement, show them with an arrow, probably, of course, actually have them do this particular activity. We see the picture of a young girl raking. Kate holds a cardboard arrow above that points to the direction of the rake when the girl pulls it. She then describes the picture of a boy using a wheelbarrow. In this particular picture, the young man is pushing a wheelbarrow and we would actually indicate the direction of the push as well as have the student do the actual activity so they can pair the idea that the arrow is symbolic of the movement. And there are also curved arrows in many science diagrams, and this particular curved arrow could indicate a cycle and the direction of the cycle. We see a curved arrow made from a pink wiki stick. And that's today's teachable moment about arrows.